Oilers with a huge 4-1 lead on Colorado. They'll meet the Avs one more time before season's end. Big three-goal cushion at the second intermission. That statue of Wayne Gretzky in 1977. Tom McCarthy was drafted by Oshawa in the OHL draft number one ahead of Wayne. Mind you, they knew Wayne would probably be in and out of junior so fast to make your head spin. But Tom's story is an amazing one. We're here on the second day of spring, Easter Saturday, and involved in sport. And those three, Easter, spring, and sport, remind us it's always about life renewal. The opportunity, if at first you don't succeed, you get another chance. And even if you do succeed, you get another chance. Tom McCarthy with Scott Morrison. Muskoka is a place many NHL players, past and present, call home in the summer. Two hours north of Toronto, it is scenic and tranquil, a perfect place to get away from it all. There is one former player here who lived the dream, but mostly went through hell. Tom McCarthy was once a budding star. Now he is head coach of the Huntsville Otters in the Ontario Provincial Junior A League. 20 years removed from the NHL, he has found peace and purpose and is using hockey to teach the life lessons he learned the hard way. His road to Muskoka and its serenity has indeed been a long one. Bustick checked him, Anderson steals it to McCarthy, scores! Tom McCarthy! A minor hockey phenom in Toronto, McCarthy lived up to his billing in junior, excelling for two years with the Oshawa Generals. At 18, McCarthy made the jump to the Minnesota North Stars. A gifted scorer, a tenth pick overall, the sky was the limit. But not all dreams play out as we hope. McCarthy's career started much better than it would ultimately end. I would say I'm a huge underachiever. I, I had a 40-goal year, I had a 30-goal year. I'm, I, I, I played in the All-Star game. I went to the Stanley Cup twice. Unfortunately, didn't win that. Tom McCarthy took an awful elbow in the mouth. We're getting a good look at... Oh! With injuries taking their toll, McCarthy was out of the game before he was 30. He had business interest in Minnesota, but soon found that his life had lost the euphoria and structure that came with being a pro hockey player. He had nothing to fill that void. It really started by stop dreaming, uh, um, by being... Um, uh, discouraged in the sense that uh, you know this isn't everything like, it's all done it's all over you know this is I had my chance my life is over and that way of thinking started a series of events that would land him in Leavenworth a notorious maximum security federal pen in Kansas McCarthy's involvement with a Minnesota drug dealer led to his arrest in an FBI sting in 1994 he pled guilty to driving a truckload of marijuana from California to Minnesota and was sentenced to a surprising 10 years in prison. His biggest regret is the effect that it had on those closest to him. It's the other people that I might have involved that it hurts, my parents, my family, my friends. And, uh, but if you ask any one of them, they know that, that that wasn't me, that isn't me, and that's not what I'm about. And uh, I've been very fortunate to have another chance. In that unlikely setting, McCarthy managed to introduce hockey to the inmates and in doing so, unwittingly had opened a door to what would become the next chapter in his life. I used to run like a hockey school clinic in the mornings before Saturday and I'd have every person that was, you know, that was an inmate uh, involved. And we'd had teams and we had a league and uh, we played our games on Saturday afternoons and there was never a fight and never nonsense. and. That's where I learned I could teach. Due to his father's tireless efforts, McCarthy was transferred back to Canada to finish serving his time. He was released after five years in 1998, anxious to get involved in hockey again and to allow others to learn from his experiences. You gotta make the best of everything that you have. It's your attitude, it's your approach. There's a positive to every negative. There is a positive. Sometimes they're hard to find, but when you find them and you can live in it, and you actually believe in it, it'll carry you out of anything. That is the difference. But it's now about keeping our composure. The concept of hockey and what it is as a venue to teach life skills, it's such an impact of parallel to life. To me, it's incredible. And I didn't realize it as a young man. It's easy to see that McCarthy's greatest pleasure comes from teaching, and it's obvious that he not only believes in his players, but they also believe in him. Everything that he tells you in the room 
you can take out with you and take it into your personal life. Oh, he's a great guy. Uh, great inspiration. He always, he, he always finds the, the right thing to say to you. Like, he always, he's always the guy that always comes in to always to boost up your confidence. I'm friends with Tom off the ice. In the summertime, Tom's my buddy. Like, we hang out. I love the guy. He's a great guy. But when we come to the rink, he's coach. I talked to a few of your players today, and I asked them, describe Tom as a coach. And each one said, he's a great guy. What does that mean to you? Maybe that I'm understood, or that I understand them. Um, my biggest thing in life is acceptance. I think it's a huge, a huge quality, especially for love. You know, you have to accept. And um, I think, you know, I accept them, no matter if they have shortcomings or not. There is a poignant slogan painted on the wall of the Otter's dressing room, words that define a man who has endured all that life has thrown at him. Our greatest characteristic as a human being is to adapt and adjust. And we all have little hiccups and bumps along the way, but it's how we fight through it, how we get through it to get where we're going. It's not how we fall, it's how we get up and how what we learn from it. As long as I can fulfill the hope that I am helping someone else reach their dreams and help them guide them, that will fulfill my dream forever. All there is to say to that is thank you.